it's a lovely hybrid of new and old because the main city centre is quite new because there would have been the fire quite early on in 1900 so it's quite a new looking centre with all these fantastic characteristic buildings around then for UCC itself I and mean, in the MA course is the only one of its type really in the country when it's focusing specifically on art history and that historiographical kind of element. I kind of felt like I really got more of an idea of what it meant to be an art historian during the MA course, whereas maybe in some undergrads you kind of, you learn, you know, things are told to you, you're kind of spoon fed. So in the MA you learn to be an art historian, you learn to look for yourself, you learn to look for new actual um, abilities. Like in my thesis, I decided to go down a route of looking at Corbin Walker, who's an Irish artist. And Corbin is uh, four feet tall, and meant that I got to bring in things from dis um, disability studies, things that I wouldn't have actually looked at before, but it's something that's so practical anyway in contemporary art, seeing problems with people with mobility and how f uh, space affects you. Um, my particular interest is in kind of where art and architecture kind of collide anyway. So when someone like that, where you kind of, kind of get to talk about the policing aspects of space, is really interesting too. At the moment now I'm working in two different galleries. I'm working in the Lewis Kluxman Gallery, which is here on campus, which is a great facility to have anyway. And I'm also working in Lismore Castle Arts, which is in Waterford as well. And um, especially because those two galleries are mostly kind of contemporary or modernist kind of work anyway, it's good to have that backbone. I work for the Venice Biennale, which is my first job outside of college actually as well. So to actually graduate straight from college into something like that was fantastic. And that was part because of my thesis discussion was actually on Corbin Walker as well, who was the Irish representative. Sort of natural flow, but it definitely um, influenced that choice as well as the ability to get a position like that in the first place. You're not coming out with just simple ideas about art, you're coming out with the ability to write really well, um, which is really important within itself as well. I suppose that's another one of those things that's really important about this MA is you're getting to look at artists who are still working at the moment, you know, a contemporary factor. And Corbin, of course, is only kind of mid career at the moment too. So to actually get to engage with an artist himself and talk about him before actually writing upon them is really important and really refreshing as well. And it means that you're taking on your own kind of undertaking that you're writing about someone there might necessarily be quite a lot of literature on, which is a fantastic opportunity and you're not limited by this MA in that. Just get ready to not look at um, art, architecture, film, even advertisements in the same way again. You're kind of given the mechanics of how visual culture works and you can kind of get to break down the noise of visual culture and actually listen to what you want to hear.